TED is a nonprofit that claims to be committed to spreading ideas in the form of short talks given by individuals they deem to be inspired thinkers. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. This video focuses on the legitimacy of TED by way of one of its senior fellows, self proclaimed investigative journalist Will Potter. In 2015, Will Potter was selected to be a TED Senior Fellow. One of the clearly compelling reasons for his induction is to be found in his introductory bio, which states, quote, He's working on a project to use drones to document factory farms in defiance of ag-gag laws. End quote. To read Mr. Potter's description, it seems in line with Ted's agenda to, quote, make great ideas accessible and spark conversation, end quote. Interestingly, in September 2015, Shark exposed a Kickstarter scam conducted by Will Potter. Mr. Potter raised over $75,000 a year earlier to fund a project that he promised would use drones to take aerial images of factory farms. A great idea in theory, but over three and a half years later, Mr. Potter has almost nothing to show anyone. The tiny amount of video that exists is insignificant, and yet, incredibly, Mr. Potter has yet to update donors about what exactly their more than $75,000 has been used for. In comments made at the 2015 Animal Rights Conference, Mr. Potter said the drone just up and flew away. So OCD about like using the money as far as I can, using it very strategically, did everything right, did all my tests, and then fly away. Like one of the first investigations in that awesome drone. So I am terrible. Let's say that actually happened, but since Will collected over $75,000 and the drone he claimed to have bought cost less than $2,000, there was over $73,000 left to buy many more drones to replace the runaway one. To this day, the only actual evidence showing that Potter even put any effort into the project for which he took tens of thousands of dollars appeared on the 2016 docuseries Truth and Power. The small amount of footage aired revealed nothing more than him flying a toy around. Shark made a few offers in 2014 to help Will Potter get his project off the ground. Shark has been flying drones since 2010, and we know how valuable they can be to help animals. But Mr. Potter never even responded to our offers. Anyone serious about developing a drone operation will take an offer of assistance, because there are significant challenges to such an operation. Mr. Potter's silence in response to our efforts left us with little faith in his dedication, and now we know his promise wasn't authentic to begin with. Yet the organization TED still supports Will Potter. Mr. Potter's current bio on TED's website makes no mention of his drone project, nor does Mr. Potter mention in his bio on his own website. Will Potter has obviously abandoned his drone project, and he hasn't returned the money from his donors, nor has he given them an explanation of where the money went. Why would Ted stand behind someone who has behaved in such a blatantly unscrupulous and unethical manner? We've reached out to Ted several times for answers via email, and their responses were little more than brush-offs. In one email, they claimed simply that they, quote, will investigate, end quote. On February 21, 2018, TED Fellows Program Director Shoha Murad sent an email response to our concerns which included the following. Quote, TED's process of choosing a fellow is a thoroughly selective process that requires several months of review, investigations, interviews, references, and is based on a variety of factors. End quote. It is difficult to understand how a vetting process could not turn up the problems with Mr. Potter's credibility. Continuing, Ms. Arad included a quote from Will Potter's own Kickstarter page. Quote, Because an investigation like this hasn't been attempted before, I cannot make any guarantee of what I will be able to document. End quote. Mr. Potter's self-serving claim that, quote, an investigation like this hasn't been attempted before, end quote, is absolutely false. As I mentioned before, Shark has been successfully utilizing drone technology for years before Will Potter for a wide range of topics from pigeon shoots to suspected dog fighting to animal slaughter contests, suspected cockfighting to feedlots to government-sanctioned slaughters. On his Kickstarter page, Potter claimed that he would not be deterred. Quote, I am accustomed to pushing through setbacks and detours in the course of my reporting, and I am confident that I will be able to do the same with this project. An additional risk slash challenge is that even though this photography is lawful, I will undoubtedly face harassment by factory farm owners or workers on site. I am committed to pursuing this lawful investigation, and these are risks I am willing to face." End quote. 
there is unquestionably going to be pushback when you try to change the status quo. You hit me? Get on the ground, motherfucker. Right now. Pull back. Get on the ground. Get away. Get that away from me. Get Don't away. Don't you take my picture. Don't take my picture. Don't take my picture. I'm calling the cop. Good, call him. You fucking... Shark investigators regularly experience harassment and violence at the hands of the people who support animal atrocities. Fucking asshole hit me! We deal with the harassment, and Will Potter promised he would too. But these days, it seems Mr. Potter is just full of excuses. Check out his Facebook post from March 1st depicting him wallowing in a hospital bed while showcasing his many expensive tattoos. Quote, how I spent my spring break. My latest surgery went well, but recovery will be long. There's never a good time to be derailed like this, but it feels like getting kicked when I'm already down. End quote. And, quote, trolling by far-right neo-Nazis and other groups has escalated dramatically. Through it all, I have been working harder and at a higher level than I ever have. End quote. I'm sorry, but I can't tell what work Mr. Potter is supposedly doing. Well, whatever it is, it certainly doesn't include making proper use of the $75,000 plus that he took from good-hearted people so he could fly drones over factory farms. As for harassment from nutcases, it comes with a job and shouldn't be used as an excuse for not accomplishing a project. An organization full of inspired thinkers like Ted should understand this. If that higher level that Potter references doesn't include an explanation for where his Kickstarter money went, I think Ted should either make a demand or rescind Mr. Potter's title. Apparently Ted's leaders can't admit that one of their senior fellows is a scam artist. That's hardly inspired thinking. The cold, hard fact is Will Potter couldn't handle being a real reporter on the streets of Chicago, so he turned to a movement where he could take advantage of clueless donors. Ted may support this kind of predatory behavior, but Shark doesn't. Check out CharityCops.com for other scammers in the nonprofit sector wasting money that is supposed to help animals.